Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about linear variable differential transducer or also known as the linear variable differential transformer. Remember this. This T stands for either transformer or transducer. Okay. So, linear variable differential transformer. By seeing the diagram without uh, uh, going to the diagram or without going to the matter, by seeing the name, we can estimate what type of uh, parameter we are going to measure using this linear variable differential transducer. See, linear variable. In the previous video, I have explained one thing. Uh, variable inductance measurement variable inductance transducer in that case what i have explained variation in the wiper nothing but displacement okay we have taken one uh, what is that inductance completely we have taken one inductance like this in center at the center we have connected a wiper if, depending upon the movement of this wiper either in the upward or downward direction the displacement movement is nothing but a displacement depend depending upon this displacement of this wiper the inductance value inductance value will vary so that the output voltage measured across this inductance may also be affected so this is what the concept through which we have moved to the implementation of linear variable differential transducer so here also we are taking the same linear movement it is not a circular or rotational movement here also we are applying the same concept to linear variable linear variation that leads to the change in the inductance value and the change in the emf electromotive force that gives the change in the output voltage okay why it is transformer instead of transducer transducer we can also call it as transducer but why it is transformer means because we are using two windings primary winding and secondary winding so we know it already as a primary winding secondary winding if we take that comes under a transformer transforms energy from one winding to another winding so lvdt transducer comprises a coil former onto which three coils are bonded the primary coil is excited with an ac current the secondary coils are wound secondary coils it is having two coils instead of one primary coil is single coil and secondary coil are two coils Okay, so two coils, uh, secondary coils are wound such that when and when a ferrite core is in the central uh, linear position, an equal voltage is induced into each coil. You will better understand when, when you see the diagram. The secondary coils are connected in opposition to the in opposite so that in the center position the output of the secondary cancels each other out okay i will explain there when we go into the concept the excitation is applied to the excitation is nothing but input the excitation is applied to the primary winding and the uh, armature uh, assists the inter induction of current into secondary coils see here this is the construction of the linear variable differential transducer or transformer where see this figure very carefully this is the core area this is the core area completely where we have a free space to insert this complete area okay so this is the complete core area where we can insert this soft iron core easily and again taking out from this gap okay and here we have the wire wounded this is the secondary winding one and this is secondary winding two and whereas in between these two secondary winding and primary uh, secondary winding and one and two we have a primary winding one so primary winding only one winding is there our secondary winding we are taking two windings <coughs> okay so now what we are doing we are holding this arm we are holding this arm and making a displacement movement in the forward direction and backward direction so if you do not understand through this first diagram you can better understand from the second diagram okay second diagram the construction figure a shows the construction how this construction is taking place see here this is the soft iron core this is nothing but soft iron core and it is having an arm this one this is arm Okay, this is what we have seen here, the same, same soft iron core. 
now it is drawn in, drawn in vertical fashion okay and here excitation is applied at the input of primary winding excitation is applied at the input of primary winding this primary winding is connected at the center like this okay it is wounded across this and then we are taking the leads outside okay where we are applying the input voltage excitation input voltage in okay now there are two secondary windings as i said this is the one lead of the secondary winding and this is the secondary winding other lead that means a single wire is wounded in the first secondary winding and as well as the same wire is taken on to this uh, primary winding and again wounded here okay so that it will be having another lead here see what happens a single wire is wounded for both secondary winding one and secondary winding two but it is not having any contact with the primary winding just because of the flux in use from one winding to another winding the emf is being shared see uh, if you do not understand this one also uh, and we are taking the secondary winding uh, output voltage from the secondary windings one of one terminal of the first secondary winding and other terminal of the second secondary winding we are taking the output voltage e naught and this is the excitation input voltage <coughs> coming to the more detailed uh, circuit of this one the basic circuit how we are applying the input voltage how we are taking the output voltage so this gives much clarity on this one so this is the soft iron core and this is the arm the primary winding where we are applying the ac input voltage or excitation input we are applying here for today primary winding and there are two secondary windings as i discussed there this is the one terminal of one secondary winding this is the one terminal of second secondary winding so these are the connected together once this winding is over again the same wire is extended to create the secondary winding two also okay so this is how the circuit looks like and the what happens now see what happens suppose if this soft iron is exactly at the center just imagine how it is working <coughs> however you have one more diagram i will explain there if you do not understand there you can easily understand just imagine before going into the original circuit let us see how it is working <coughs> see the soft iron core is exactly at the center by seeing this diagram you can understand that the soft iron core is exactly at the center between the secondary winding one and secondary winding two and this is the primary winding primary winding where we are applying the input voltage because of this electromotive force is generated some some emf is generated because of this emf generation and as the core is exactly at the center between the secondary winding one and two same amount of emf is developed in es1 and as well as es2 so that es1 is equal to es2 because the iron core is at the center as the iron core is at the center the e amount uh, the equal amount of emf has been developed in the secondary winding one and as well as in secondary winding two suppose if this iron core is moving much deeper much deeper that means what happens it is nearer to es2 and not nearer to the es1 in that case es1 is less compared to es2 okay then what happens some error will be there and again es now what happens if we take the arm outside completely that means the core now it moves in the left hand direction now it comes nearer to es1 and going away from es2 so es1 now it is greater compared to es2 okay this is how the movement of this iron core happens and changes the output inductance value see suppose if this iron core is at this point that means the arm is like this what we have done we are taking out the iron core we are taking out the iron core soft iron core and it is now nearer to secondary winding one let us consider this is the position of secondary winding one and this is the position of secondary winding two here also it is here and it is here it is here and it is here okay and this primary winding is at the center now the core is in the first case what happens the core is at point a nothing but which is very near to the secondary winding one plate 
okay then what happens es1 is greater than es2 because it is having more emf as the core is needed to this es1 and no emf is generated in es2 and coming to the second position which is at the center o which is at the center o nothing but here it is s1 here it is s2 so equal amount of voltage has been developed in s1 and as well as s2 so in that case it is es1 is equal to es2 okay so the um, figure b shows this case where es1 is equal to es2 the equal amount of emfs have been developed in secondary winding 1 and 2 as well now consider the third case where the iron core has been gone inside deeper into this uh, um, soft uh, area and as well as the soft iron core comes nearer to the secondary winding 2 then what happens yes es2 es1 is less than es2 because the core is nearer to the secondary winding 2 whichever has having the core that will be having more flux so that that becomes more okay so this is what and how the core is getting moved and it changes the inductance value so that the output voltage will also vary see here now we are taking the output voltage at the center a at the center point o as we have seen here center point o and core at a core at b okay so when core is at zero nothing but o when core is at the o center position what happens equal amount of EF, emf has been developed in both the cases so same emf has been developed when we are going just towards the point A and towards the point B, this is the condition. Okay. So, even at 0 also some residual error is there. A little bit of change. Exactly practical values are not equal to the ideal values. So, practically we may have some residual voltage. Okay. And this is the phase. Phase of A is out of phase of B because both are in a... Uh, quite contrast position so one is if 0 degrees another one is 180 degrees okay so coming to this one when core is exactly at the center the coil then the flux linked to both the secondary winding will be equal due to the equal flux linkage the secondary induced voltage e not one and e not two are equal but they have opposite polarities output voltage e not is therefore zero this position is called null position this this occurs at zero o position okay so now if the core is displaced from its null position towards uh, toward secondary winding one then flux link to secondary winding one increases and flux link to secondary winding two decreases therefore e not one is greater than e not two e not one is the voltage coming from uh, emf coming from secondary winding one and e not two is the emf coming from the secondary winding two and the output voltage of LVDT E0 will be positive. Suppose if the cases have been reversed, then E0, to, uh, E0 will be negative. Similarly, if the core is displayed toward a secondary winding 2, then ES2 is greater than ES1 and the output voltage of LVDT E0 will be negative. So, this is what the concept of linear variable differential transducer along with the diagram. I have explained the concept of LVDT, how these uh, linear variations will cause the change in the primary and secondary windings. Okay. So, this is the concept of LVDT, very, very important from examination point of view. Thank you.